don't know how to pronounce that. This guy is very talented uh, Japanese artist. Yeah. Anyhow, we have the new Kira supports and I sliced up a model. This is the new Kira tree supports. Uh, very new slicer. I haven't had uh, any experience with it, so I figured I'd try this model out. Didn't see any Z banding, which is good. This is actually wood. Uh, wood PLA. That's a new tree support. Actually came out good. See the way I print stuff, you know. Most people would take that and print it right on a flat surface and hope for the best. But I know this is a little stringy. Um... I hope for the best, you know, but supporting that hat from the bottom up would have been a nightmare, so I turned the whole model upside down. Slight tilt on there, because you never want to print flat, flat like that. I guess that's what comes with experience. Got to clean this up a little bit. Wood PLA is actually not bad for cleaning up. Doesn't have a lot of any other good properties to it, but cleanup is actually not too bad. Don't ask me where the model is because this, uh, I'm the only one actually who has this model. We gotta paint it uh, to match that picture there. Probably should have used white PLA, but I don't know. Wanted to go with the skin tone. Yeah. This actually will clean up very nice. Wood, uh, wood filament doesn't have very good layer adhesion, so when you got strings, you know, they actually come off very good. That's what it came out better if I used my Cura 4.3. I could have went in and used my tree supports and my ultra high quality settings, but uh, if I do this again, it'll probably be in resin. I don't know. Anyways. Printer's looking much better. Don't see any layer lines. Any Z artifacts. I mean, it's pretty smooth all the way up and down. So, definitely uh, much better shape, guys. Take care. Happy printing. I have the... Um, Kangaroo, flexi kangaroo, I'm going to do next on here. Definitely got to get this uh, wood PLA out of the machine. Then. I'll show you guys this when it's all painted up.